goes down, the Axis powers will control the continents. We interrupt our special broadcast. I ask that the Congress declare a state of war. I was 19 when I fought in World War II and was assigned to a squad of three men and was a part of America's Ninth Army. The squad, Captain Andrew Maine, Sergeant Tony Harper, and Private Stanley Harris, who was always filming the events and battles that we encountered during our journey. Four years prior to our deployment, Hitler had risen to power and had gained control over most of the free world in Europe. He was a man who had plans not just for Germany, but for the world as well. Not even his own people knew what he was intending to do. Then, the Americans entered the war, and things began to change. Eventually, things turned around, and Hitler was driven back. The war was coming to an end. It's on me. Let's go. Move out. Is everybody okay? Yes, sir. Fine. Good. Because we're moving out. We have to catch up with division. Where exactly are we going, sir? Over the border. Saxony. That's at least 10 miles from here. That's orders. Get anything good? There still remained a strong resistant German force in Saxony. Our mission was to clean out the area before the war ended. I'll never forget the day that we first encountered the German forces in Saxony. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. I regret picking on Harris. He was a good soldier and a person who preferred to view the world from behind the camera lens. Covering fire for us. Sir. Go, go, go!
Germany. Sir, what do they say? Guys, angels are here. My duty in the Ninth Army was a tough and horrible experience, but I don't regret it. I did my job just like everyone else did theirs. I just hope that the future generations will someday realize what it cost in order for them to live their everyday lives 